Tonight demanding answers from their elected officials and attendance is high at tonight's teen political forum being held in Carl Springs. Students from several schools in the area, including Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High, are there. The issues of school safety and privacy concerns are sure to be at the top of the agenda. CBS 4's Aurelia Ortega is live in Coral Springs with more. Aurelia. Rick and Rudabay, the event just got underway a few minutes ago as people continue trickling in. Every student I spoke with prior to the event tells me that school security is something that's high on their mind following the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. And they hope their concerns are addressed here at this forum and that they get specific answers as to what's being done to ensure their safety. I expect for a change. Change in the sense of not just gun control, but just raising awareness and having them see that this is an issue and does have to be solved and our politicians should wake up. Students from half a dozen area schools are looking for answers from elected officials as they pack the Coral Spring Center for the Arts for a forum. The Teen Political Forum, which has been held for the past 12 years, gives students the chance to speak with elected officials about their concerns. And this year, many of those in attendance are expected to ask about the Stoneman Douglas shooting, school safety, and clear backpacks. In the wake of Stoneman Douglas students wearing clear backpacks um, and new safety protocols installed at Stoneman Douglas, what do we expect to see at the other schools, at Coral Springs High, at Coral Glades, at Terravella, at the charter school? The schools on hand for tonight's event, Coral Glades, High, Coral Springs High, Coral Springs Charter, J.P. Taravella High, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, and Coral Springs Christian Academy. The panel includes the vice mayor of Coral Springs, three Coral Springs City Commissioners, a Broward County Commissioner, and two school board members. Kids in our community deserve answers as to what we're going to do, what we're going to do differently. And <laughs> Just two days ago, Congressman Ted Deutsch hosted a town hall meeting on gun violence at the same venue. Deutsch's district includes the city of Parkland, where a gunman shot and killed 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High on February 14th. We need to break the back of the gun lobby that has their grip on our legislature. Gun safety questions filled the meeting. What are you guys doing so I am safe everywhere? Deutsch focused on efforts underway in Congress to increase the minimum age to buy a gun, implement a gun restraining order, and tighten background checks. It is an idea that has the support of over 90 percent of the American people. Organizers say the auditorium can hold nearly 1,500 people, and it is a packed house in there. The event is expected to last at least two hours. Live in Coral Springs, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News at 7.